Well, here we are at Hockenheim Ring. And this week, I do not have the Audi yet, but I have the Ferrari F430 fully upgraded. So first, I'm going to show you my full run, and then we're going to do it again with tips. First corner here is kind of tricky to get it just right, because this is a slippery car. I find this car pretty slippery, so you've got to be pretty careful with your braking points. You'll see me drifting a little bit here and there and feathering the throttle sometimes. Coming up is something that will probably be quite controversial. Instead of braking properly for this corner, I discovered some of the top guys do the following. You throw it into a skid and then you start feathering the throttle to get forward momentum. Very hard to get it right. Although I was quite far behind my ghost, you can see that I came out of it with more speed. And the rest of this will be reasonable for the most part. Coming up in a bit, I actually start braking with two tires off track. It's going to be the next corner. I proved in a recent video that when you have two tires off track, you increase your braking distance. However, sometimes that sacrifice is worth it if you get a better trajectory into the corner. Now, coming up here is something that is also controversial and some people might not know about. This is not off track. You can go way out there and increase the arc of your turn. And it's not off track. However, if you go too far, it definitely is. Okay, let's do it again. This time, I will be pausing in certain places so you can see my braking points. Now, this is complex. I start turning as I'm braking and then I'm back into the gas before the corner. Here my braking point is going to be just after that shaded section. I braked a little late this time because I was a little bit slower. Very close in there. This is really hard to get without losing traction. So you got to really make use of the track. I did really good there. So coming up to this drifting power skid, whatever you want to call it, it's tricky. My braking point is clear, right there, I'm on the brakes now. I start curving over to the left and then I throw it. Still have the brakes on, brakes on, brakes on. Here I'm lifting, you could see the gas was on a bit. I could have done it a bit better, but again, if you watch, we were 0.3 in a bit and uh, I've already gained a tenth of a second on my Ghost. Again, here you want to be really close, braking point will be clear here, it's with that strip. You can go pretty far over to the right. I could have hugged this more to the left. I didn't do great there. And here I tried to carry too much speed. So you can see I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm feathering the throttle. Still did better than my ghost. Here's another clear braking point. Just beside that or just after. That enables you to power through that nicely. And this corner coming up is so tricky. Ah, that's kind of a reference point. And just when the car starts turning a little bit more is when I got back into the gas. I did really good that time. I have a really hard time with that corner. This is really tricky as well. Go much further to the left and it will be off track. Watch my timer. Watch the distance. Point one. Now watch how much I gain. And again, this is pretty hard. You got to get the trajectory just right to exit like this. That run gave me a fabulous gain on the back straight. All right, so this is a run that I am very happy with. You'll see coming up here, I already had a good B time. This gets me really solid into B. Thanks for watching. I hope some of those tips help you. Happy racing.